Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chase on two wheels here with my buddy Brian. Today on Rec Bike Rebuild Garage, we decide what the CBR 1000 that we're building out of literally. Stop that. <laughs> it got worse and worse as you went on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Rec Bike Repo Garage, guys. This is day 13 of our CBR 1000 build. If you guys are wondering where all the other CBRs are because we're building three of them, we have forgotten about two of them. We threw them all in the garbage can. We just couldn't do, take it do anymore. Do not do, no, people will believe you. You're the serious guy. Don't, you can't say <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, so guys, what we've done with Rec Bike Rebuild so that our brains can contemplate how to make this happen we have paused our CBR uh, 300 and our CBR 600. Literally, the parts are around the shop. We are only focusing on the CBR 1000. Currently, our CBR 1000 roller is at the fiberglass guy. Now we're filming episodes and gonna do stuff with him, but while it's there, we don't have it here. So today, we don't know what it's gonna look like. And after today, we'll have a better idea of what it's gonna look like. Our fiberglass guy is the same guy that's gonna be painting the bike. So we've given him an idea of what we want the tail of the, look, of the bike to look like, because he's gonna slightly modify that new front end that we got that you guys have. By the way, can we get a clap in the comments? The guys did two full Rec Bike Rebuild episodes and I was nowhere in sight. So you guys drop a like, let them know in the comments how good they did, I was proud. My, the the mother bird threw the, the birds out and you guys flew. You didn't fall to the to the ground and die. Nope, no crash and burn. <laughs> no crash and burn. No crash and burn. Um, if you guys don't know what Rec Bike Rebo Garage is, hi, well, this is an odd episode to come in on, but uh, in this show, we take wrecked motorcycles. Or we, blown up motorcycles. Or we in will take case. on lots of different types of motorcycles. <laughs> we take them in. We throw money, time, blood, sweat, and tears into them, turn them into dream bikes, and then because of the people that support us on Patreon, we pick one of those people and we give them the motorcycle. If you are interested in being one of the people that is just given a motorcycle, top link down below. It'll take you to patreon.com slash chase on two wheels. You guys can join Rec Bike Reload for as low as five bucks, and then whew, you're off to the races you could win the finished CBR 1000, 600, or 300. Many custom bikes have been given out. People have loved them long time. And it's because of days like this where we design things and we prove to people that we actually, we kind of know what we're doing. We usually kind of just do this hovering around a motorcycle in the shop. Yeah, so typically this is all of us kind of just walk around it, look at it. We'll go over to, com uh, to a computer, pull up some images and be like, ah, we like that. Let's go yeah, down that this? direction. What about that? So maybe some of this, some of that. I don't think we've really done a design day of like, what's the process of us deciding what the bike's going to look like. So that's kind of what our goal is here. Okay. So uh, for you guys that don't know, and I have seen some comments on the last couple episodes, that weird fairing that we paid a ton of money for that is very polarizing. Some people are like, oh man, that's the coolest thing ever. And then some guys are like, you paid $800? How much for what? You paid $800 for that? So if you guys don't know, that is a Palotex kit. It's a fairing that is made for a older school Ducati trellis frame type situation. We don't care about what it's designed for because we like the shape of it, so we're making it work for us. So let's look at some Palotex fairings real quick. Basically, they offer a headpiece a tail piece, you can do fork covers, or you can do a belly pan piece. What we ended up doing, here's another rendering, what we ended up doing was only the headpiece because you know we've got our custom fiberglass guy making the modifications to the tail. So the first thing I want to kind of look at is Palotech kits. Oh, this all white. This one? Yes. So oh, this is from... This is what Palotech offers. This is the, right. the full offering of stuff for that matches the the head um, the head fairing or the the front upper fairing that we purchased. Right. These are all the different combinations. So it looks like there's two different front upper fairings available. Oh right. Ours has the central uh, light, and then this one. So this is that race one. Like that's this has no light unlit. up front. Okay. Yeah. 
So we have this middle guy, which is interesting because we're making a Street Fighter and they've categorized that front fort covering as a Street Fighter. There's also been a lot of comments in the videos of it's not a Street Fighter because of what we're doing it. It's, it's a, not a Street it's a Fighter because cafe. it's got a cover over the headlight. So here's, not like, here's my perspective on it, okay? We're, we're going to take a CBR 1000, we're going to strip all the bodywork off of it, we're going to put handlebars on it, we're going to give it more power, make it louder, make it more aggressive. Pretty much a Street Fighter. To me, that's a Street Fighter too, but I now, think the they're only very thing visual is, you know, everybody it. else that builds a Street Fighter, they put a, a headlight on it of some sort, and then usually just a little fly screen that goes over the headlight. Right. We've taken it that a half a step further and put a small fairing around the headlight instead of just a fly screen on it. So this is actually the fly screen. Happen. If you want to do their whole Street Fighter thing, this is the little fly screen that goes above the headlight. I think just, our bike's going to look way better than that. I, I really felt like our bike needed to have more body on it to design off of. So one thing I want to look at as far as Palotex images is this is going to give us the best representation of what at least the front of our bike could look like because we've pulled up some searches for, the, for 2008 CBRs, CBR 1000s, which is what our uh, donor bike is for the lack of a better term, is this is what it came into us with. So I've got some, like a Google search here that we can kind of look through to see what's out there as far as CBRs, but I don't really think that, like this isn't gonna help, that's funny. Uh, this isn't gonna really help us in making our bike because it's, our bike's not gonna look like this. How do you feel about gloss red? Like what's, it, is that like, a, is that popping to you? Like where, how do you feel about that? This is clearly a race motorcycle. This it, has got a carbon fiber front and rear fender. It's uh, kind of hard for me because we're going to have a lot less paint on our bike. That's true. We have to. We would have to Just block out find, this entire... Try and find another piece. photo that doesn't have a belly pan on it. Again, this is a rendering, obviously, but and our engine comes more down like this. Yeah, fills that space in more. Right. But look, so what's really cool here is they have a line that following... That follows the body line. That's really cool. Now, our frame and tail is a slightly different shape than that, so right. our line would be different, but that's something that... The we idea of having, look. like, if you if we did a drone shot from the top, the bike would look red. And then well, if you did a... It, this like, bike depending. also has a stripe down the center of it. It looks like three this stripes might, down the center. Oh, yeah, you can see right here, it's got that one racing stripe and then two pinstripes on the on outside. The side of it, which is a pretty cool setup. Okay, so we're going back to Palotex. So <clears throat> what's cool is if somebody's made this, they've probably made multiple angles. Let's do this. We need to get oh, the red, red, white, and black. So this is more of the color scheme. <gasps> Wait, so does the yellow, hold on. Let's just move this over to Melanut so we can look at all the options we're looking at. Oh, so this does do that. The black comes up and then circles the headlight. Mm -hmm. That is really neat. Oh, and then there's a pinstripe. I didn't even realize the pinstripe along this body line too. So this guy, far more down the line of colors. Yeah but more of this design. We do like the ring inside the headlight. We've got this cool body line. We've got this uh, painted circular headlight area that runs the line down. Because we were throwing some ideas back and forth initially about we kind of like a, a pinstriping. Just to add a little bit of something to the machine. But we've also wanted to accentuate the body lines because it just happens that the way Judd got our headpiece mounted it kind of this uh, this area feeds into a good the body line, line on the, the CBR the tank, and and that's the stock tank. We didn't we didn't change that up at all. It looks like they were kind of doing. So there is a ring around the headlight. It just doesn't extend up. Fairly. I think it's uh, the, well. It it does it here, but I think they didn't continue it down because of sponsorship. You know what I mean? Because they've got mm -hmm. like a million sponsors on the front, but. I do like the black ring look. Inside where the headlight it is. It gives it like a yeah, weird depth. dimension. I like the tastefulness here. Like, it's a little bit classier. Right? Cause I, I know we were talking- Not so racy. We were talking for a minute of like, oh, you know, we have so many companies that were, of uh, parts that we're putting on this motorcycle. We should like put all of those parts on the bike cause have it this racy look. But now that I'm looking at this compared to this, 
I really enjoy that clean look, and I feel like that also goes with our kind of vibe more. I wonder if we could put like Wreck Bike Rebuild or something on here. You know, like I don't know. This seems a little much. Yeah, like to put a, the Wreck Bike Rebuild logo in the middle of it. Much, yeah. I kind of like the idea of like a big brand on the side though. Like what? I wonder what we could put there. Uh, Do a Honda logo, like the the Honda wing. They've been using the this wing thing? forever. Yeah. So there's also are these all retro Honda logos? Yes. Yeah, so definitely not that, but we just need the flat version of this, kind of. What about the HRC logo? What is HRC? Just Honda Racing? Honda Racing Corporation, yeah. The only is, problem this with is this is, line. but is it always red, white, and blue? Because that would mean that we it would look messed up if we put it on a bike that's black and red and white. But if we made it black, red, and white, it wouldn't matter. Oh, you don't think so? You don't think it would take away from it? No, not at all. Huh. See if they had any like old ones or check, so check this out. HRC with the line, we could do like that could be our body line that comes to like boom, HRC. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There just seems to be like some cohesion here with this type of situation. What other uh, what other possible logos could be used? Kinda has to stay between wreck bike rebuild or some sort of Honda thing. Like what else would we, you know, do? So because that would be some big <clears throat> badging on a motorcycle. What's our current wreck bike rebuild logo? Um, glad you asked. We have this, but it has a G in it as our kind of okay. logo, uh, and then we have our kind of actual logo. So this is a graphic that we have like on the back of the WBRG shop shirts. So, so what if we were to dumb this down? Dumbing this down essentially is the other one is the logo. So what if we were to just take out the built in USA and establish 2017 and just have just the that. logo? So you're saying take out 2017, take out established, take and out built, built in USA. USA and just so leave that as the logo. It's much more streamlined. It's not going to be so much stuff on the side of the tank. Yeah, I could totally see that. It would also keep really thin stuff because like mm -hmm. if this is the look, it's either big piece or thin line and this is way more thin line. Even if we could just take this whole thing and turn it into more of a line drawing instead of shaded. Yeah. With this whole situation, I think if we took it to our paint guy, because if, if the paint guy has everything, he can do all this line work. He just puts a big circle right here. And we, we get John, want make us a middle. infinite wraps, get us a decal made, we put it there and then he clears on all, all over it. Even if we don't clear it, if we just put the decal on, and give somebody the opportunity to take that off and put whatever else they want in that's, that circle. That's ooh, I like that. Hold on, let's add. Let's. That's. Damn, that's I, really I didn't cool think idea. it was supposed to do this today. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was only like a thirty percent chance. <laughs> uh, so we have metal roofs here at the shop, and if it starts raining, it gets loud. So if you guys hear something weird, it, it's raining. I like that idea. I like having like it, even like <coughs> even if it was just a big circle, it would still look cool. Or you could put whatever well, you like want. Well, you in could there. literally be a, a. If you made YouTube videos and you had like a channel logo, you could take ours off and put yours on, and then you have a, a bike that literally looks custom made for you. Are we feeling really good about this and red? I, I am, but let's see what else we got. I do oh, yeah, like. I do like where the body line splits it. Yes. Um, what I don't like is that the body line doesn't run to the tail. Right. It doesn't but, flow to the tail. So let's see if we can find another oh, one where they flow I it see. off to the tail. Right here. So yeah. what we would want is this body line to continue and then wrap. Oh, Almost wait. If like our a, tail's going to wrap around, that body line can go up around the tail and then so loop So the bottom back. will be one color. The top will be another. Yeah. I think we talked about it. You guys might have talked about it in the last episode that our tail is going to be a little more curvy than this. Why don't it's we not pull up some be... photos of what the tail's kind of going to sort of look like? Yes. Right so there. this is what we gave our um, fiberglass guy as our inspiration. Now he's not going to duplicate this tail. So on new rate cycles, you can get a fender eliminator, you know, blinkers included for a Thruxton. It had the right shape that we liked for the tail, which is what we gave our fiberglass guy. And right now he's waiting on a seat. So this is a good image to see what a minimal seat looks like, what an exposed frame looks like. Because if you guys remember those little carbon pieces, we've got something to go over the swing arm, rear fender and front fender. And we have like 
top half pieces of the frame, we've made the decision to just X those. This is actually something good also to see what the body line looks like because if we have this headpiece here, that red is gonna run, like it'll be red on top, black on bottom. It'll run up here, down this body line and around, right? Yes. I wonder if a paint guy can paint the bottom kind of a matte-ish black and then it would blend in with the matte tank and the matte engine. Well, he did say that he was interested in playing with different uh, amounts of gloss in the paint. Right. We're gonna use multiple colors. You yeah. could also use multiple uh, types of, of sheen. Right. You can do it with a high gloss, like you like the high gloss red. Yeah, like right? high, have high gloss red on top. <clears throat> Let's say our pinstripe is, uh, is white. Right. We could do a satin white stripe instead of a high gloss white stripe. And not only will it look different by color, but it'll also look different by sheen. It'll make it stand out even more. Right, well something I'm, I'm looking at this like, so we're talking basically do, well no, because we wanted the black depth. So if we have- So let's just using this picture. The yellow and, and black, black. Let's right. say the yellow is red. Uh huh. The black below the line for us is black. Uh huh. And the line is white. You know what we can do. We can save this image and put it in Photoshop, and I can change that yellow to red. So we'll do that real quick. Um, at least that way we can look at this red, because I think that would help a lot. So we've got our super cool wannabe piece here. Let's change this color. Darken it down some. There we go, boys. There we go, boys. This is kind of getting there. Bruh. Bruh. Yes. How exciting is this? Obviously, this fork area, the Are rotors. Ready? ready? Yeah. Red on top. Okay. White on the bottom. We got to be careful, though, because the fairing is not... You know. There's just enough of it though. <clears throat> There's just be a strip of white across the bottom. The black line to separate the two. So you'll see red, black, red, and then white. I kind of, I, I think it needs to be black on the bottom because it's going to be touching the frame and that way they, they mesh. Well, I was going to say, and then do the wheels in white. I'm, I'm mentally going down this process of, I think it needs to be big red, big black white line that goes along the middle and that white line needs to match up with the wheels somehow. Because if for you guys that don't understand, we the, our color options here are fairing colors. So that's head fairing, tank fairing, tail fairing. And then the only other real color option we have is the powder coat on wheels. If we powder coated the lower triple black and the fairing was black on the bottom, gone. Yeah, we totally doesn't exist, it, uh, gone. Because the top triple is already is black. Already black. Mm -hmm. Okay. This isn't a good rendition because there's no frame there to show that. Yeah, this is the kind of hard part about this, but I, I do really like the blackness down here and that matches up with the blackness of the fairings. But my only problem with this is I wanna work white in somewhere and I don't know where I wanna work white in. Kind of like we had the carbon in last season it would be cool to have white exist as a pinstripe and we keep it as a pinstripe and we have that cohesion between the wheels and the fairings let's look at the street fighter images i know we have those pulled up and let's see if there's anything here as far as like how wheels go with body pieces most people make a street fighter out of is a super sport bike that they've crashed oh because they don't want to afford the fairings and then you just rip everything off they put a little tiny minimal headlight on it and a set of handlebars and off down the road they go. Oh, we can look at the wheel. We had the wheel powder coat option, so we can kind of look at options here. So there's what I was talking about, a two-tone wheel, where the center is orange, the outside lip is black. Oh, I gotcha. Wow, that pops off a lot. Even just this one over here. So how much of this would you see with the wheel? Just this kind of black area right here? For the most part, yeah. Got it. Yeah. See, most people, when they do the wheels, it's just like, get the wheels done in the color. Which is what we've done before. Our, our uh, CB, our ZX10, kind of look like this. So this is like faded out. 
I would. Whoa. That's what I was talking about. Like half. Whoa. Half. Oh mm. shit. Bro, ne look at that. Wow, well, they even did that one leg in the spoke different. That's pretty cool. This our does wheel really only has well. Three spokes in it. I was gonna say our wheel doesn't have these cool angles and stuff, so I don't think that's something we can really look at, but... You can, they do it to a lot of different wheels where they paint them half and half like that. So, this is half and half, right? Well, almost half and half. I wonder what, like, a quarter would look like. You know, like, imagine, so we have three spokes in ours. Imagine if it went, like, like boom third. and boom. Like, just fill the section of spoke? Yeah, like, make a little pie piece. Right, take this three-spoke wheel. This guy. Right? Uh-huh. Now... Cut it in half. Boom, cut it in half. Okay, so this half uh -huh. is red. This half, this is, half red. is black. This half is black. This spoke is red. These spokes oh. are black. Oh, okay. Got it. That, that does make more sense now. So with the wheels, do we exercise caution and not put red on them and only make them white and black? So if we want to pull white, if you only want to make white as an accent color, then we can't do the wheels in white. I think it would be cool to have a white pinstripe through it and maybe have black on one side, red on the other, but it's three spokes. So it, we wouldn't have, I think we'd lose it here, which is why maybe we could do like black, black, white, pinstripe, red. I just don't know how that would look right down the road. Mm -hmm. It'd look kind of funky, I think. But So what else do we need to talk about? Because we're going to get stuck on wheels here if we think about it for too long. Yeah. I think we've nailed down black pinstripe on top, big red on top, black underneath, black frame, black engine. We just got to figure out what we want to do with the wheels. And we also have to figure out the white. Like, do we do an accent color with white? I think if you're going to do like a white accent, just like a pinstripe or something, then you just pinstripe the wheel. And that's it? <clears throat> Don't put a lot of white in the wheel because there's not a lot of white anyplace else. I mean, I'm I'm kind of tempted. I really like the look of this black and red. I'm kind of tempted to just be like, I don't even know if I want white in this. I think it, I, I don't know if it's going to add to it, you know? So this, with this frame, and semi this tail is what we're building. We need to lighten it up the, at the bottom. We need to put some color down low. Yeah, and the, the wheels are very crucial. Because remember, the pegs are going to have, we're going to have red pegs as well. So we'll have red pops. Now, is it right just going to be the peg or is it going to be the whole rear set? That's a good point because uh, Motivation sent us the foot peg mm -hmm. in red, anodized red. Now we just can run the peg? To go that deep, I might need to see that on. Because that's going to be a hard call to make when we have all of well, this. Well, if you look at it out. right there, the rear set is on it. It's all black. You can't see any of it. That's true. But have you ever seen a colored rear set that looked really good? I just don't know if I've seen a colored rear set on a bike and have been like, dang, that looks really good. And we're going to go with a black chain. I mean, part of me thinks that if we go back to our notes page... It would be nice to have some pop of color here because we'd have the pop of color on the wheel, pop of color here, pop of color on the wheel, you know? So we've got some stuff going on at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're only going to do the foot peg and leave the rear sets in black, then I think we need to do the wheels in black and just add a touch of red to them. Are you thinking like a red hub like that? Uh, yeah, either all three spokes and then leave the rim on the outside itself in uh, in black, or maybe the opposite. Leave the hubs in black and just do the rim on the outside edge in red with a white pinstripe in it. I think that might look good. So, so black spokes, right? With a red rim, red rim, black, black spokes. spokes, and a white pinstripe Where? on the on the lip, like just right like here? around the edge. Yeah, I, I kind of like the idea of having a black rim. Red hub, just one red hub and the re one red spoke. And it's black, black, red. You know, because then you'd have that really cool, like, going down the road. We'd get our weird wheel thing, because we were talking about that at some point, like having the, the wheel be like, have that weird rotation like offset. thing. Yeah. <clears throat> now, that white is going to team up with the white on the tire, then. That would be the white tie in. If, if we need it. If we needed to have oh, yeah, white letter tires or not. Right. 
Because it would blend in with the shape and everything. So even mm. if there was no other white. And um, I still think we need to do a white pinstripe on the bike. You think a white pinstripe here? Maybe if it's just the space in between the red and the black. So it's the red with the black pinstripe and there's a little peekaboo of red. Right. If that red was white. So if that little crack of red is white. Is white. All right. So this will be the final thing we do because we need to wrap this video up, guys. But I'm going to try to f*** with this to give us a white stripe just so we can have something to look at and it this is going to be crude as shit so just deal with with that with us bro i'm so i i was not sold until that i literally <laughs> i was literally gonna be like I, nah, no i hate it and no. then you zoom out and it just it gives it that break it's the one little these are the conversations you guys don't typically see it's us <laughs> around a computer and then it's like one of us has a good thought and nobody believes that person, and then until you find either the image that proves it's like, no, look, it worked on that bike, it should work here. And it's only there on that horizontal. So the stripes that go up the center of the bike don't have white. Right. So it's e just that split horizontally, up or lower. Even farther from here, let's let's f with this. Let's color. These are spoked wheels. We don't have spoked wheels, so it's not a one for one. But what we can do is at least give us this kind of, again, this is very crude, do not judge. You'd probably see more peeking through here. I'm not gonna go through all the details of doing that. But when this is moving, I think it's gonna look really cool. Gotta zoom in there, I think. Yeah. All right, here we go. White pinstripe, white pinstripe. This would need to be, it, I think seeing this, this wheel pinstripe is super important to be the exact same width as that. Thickness, absolutely. Yeah, it, it is absolutely crucial because if it's as thin as this, it's not this look doesn't right. look cohesive. Right, no, I get it. But I mean, you just drew a little line with your mouse real quick. It's okay. You were judging yourself after you said this is a no judge zone. Bro. I'm still not sure if I'm sold on the single red spoke. If the hub was black, I think I'd be more okay with it. So again, very crude, but. Yeah, I think I can get down with that better. So just the spoke piece, black hub. I think I can sign on with black entire wheel, red, one red spoke that matches the red of the top and have the white pinstripe with the same white thickness as the middle one. I think this is our bike, boys. Uh, you know what we could do? Even more. Oh my god. Just one more time, just almost done, I promise, I promise. Right? Because it's like slightly curvy? Yes, much better. All right. Are we good? Are we all happy? The weather's happy? I hope my motorcycle didn't float away. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. If that, if our bike looks anything close to that, we're gonna have a bad mother effort. All right, I'm calling it. That is our design, that is our North Star now. That is what we take to Fiberglass Guy Brian. Mm -hmm. That is what we take to R RTP Customs for the powder coat. That looks cool as shit. Can I get a hands up, Brian? Okay, we can get a hands up. Actual hands up, we made it, boys. <laughs> Even Luke. <laughs> All right, we now know exactly what to do with this motorcycle. You guys can let us know in the comments what what do you think about that? There's gonna be a lot of people that are like, oh, that looks like shit. And then they're gonna come back in two months and be like, damn, <laughs> damn, though. how do I damn get one of those? Though. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that we're, we're calling it. That is what our CVR is kind of going to look like. Kind of going to. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Check out Patreon if you want to win this thing. Ish kind of. Uh, <laughs> if you're already supporting us on Patreon, we thank you guys so much. Uh, and if you want more incentive to go over to Patreon, you guys get added posts that we do over there, including photos and stuff like that. You also get episodes a week early. That's it. I'm hyped. I'm hyped as fuck right now. I mean, hyped as F right now. Ow. Sorry about yeah. that. All right. Let's end this. Uh, outro crew, if you made it to the end of the video, hype level uh, 1 to 10, 10 being a Ducati Street Fighter and 1 being a GSX 250R. What level are you at? <laughs>
<laughs> but I knew, I knew he was going for the GSX-R250. <laughs> God bless. It's a terrible motorcycle, that's why it's a one. What you need to say is, uh, one is whoever's riding a high sun. <laughs> Did not say it. We will I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys on the. We'll say you guys on the next one, bro.